So I'm into reaction videos. I've been watching a bunch of them and I'm really entertained by a lot of the folks that are finding music for the first time. And pretty much 100% of the people who react to Rush songs for the first time are blown away. They're like, you know, how are three people making all that music? And us Rush fans are like, <laughs> we knew this for decades. <laughs> Where you been? No, not like that. We're actually pretty appreciative that, oops, we're actually pretty appreciative that there are a lot of people who are now appreciating Rush for what they, for what they were. Putting three, just three musicians together, you can't do any better. They pretty much set the mold and the mold got thrown away as far as a three-piece band. And there have been other three-piece bands. There are three-piece bands. But me personally, I, don't, I haven't seen any band pull off the amount of music and the quality of music that Rush has put out as a three-piece band. It's, it's astounding. I got the privilege of seeing them seven times uh, and actually the last five tours, thinking that each tour was gonna be the last one. Unfortunately, R40 was the last tour. But there's a particular song from Rush that people react to that they're just mesmerized at everything they pull off. And the song is Xanadu. And it's not the studio version, which was released in 19, 1977 from the Farewell to Kings album, a Farewell to Kings album, but the live version from Exit Stage Left, which they performed in 1981. Uh, people are just mesmerized at how they pull all of that off. And when I first saw it back when I was a wee little lad, eventually I played it on MTV, the whole Exit Stage Left concert when MTV actually played music only. I mean, I was blown away. And Xanadu was one of those truly epic songs. And now I see a lot of people reacting to it and they're like, how do they pull that off? Well, I'm gonna tell you how they pull it off. There's gonna be no more mystery anymore. <laughs> and maybe, We'll, uh, maybe Rush fans will be like, uh, no, no, let the mystery be. It's not about that. I mean, I've watched this video many, many, many times, and I've watched reaction videos of this footage from 1981 many, many times, and I can't get enough of it. I can watch it every day, but I don't think even as much as the people react to it, they don't realize what's going on right in front of them as far as everything that those three guys are doing to pull off all that music. So what I decided to do is actually study the video, uh, scrutinize it. And I'm somewhat of a musician myself. I don't, I'm not a pro, but you know, I can play a little, I dabble, I'm pretty observant. And I tried to f check every single thing that's going on in that video to see everything that they're doing to produce all of the things that they're, all of the music that they're, they're putting out. So, this is kind of like an exercise in study as far as uh, observing musicians in their craft. I mean, musicians at the top of their game. And what's going on? What are they doing? Well, this video is that. I'm going to show you why Xanadu, performed by Rush live in 1981, the Moving Pictures Tour, recorded on uh, as Exit Stage Left. I'm gonna show you why this is one of the greatest rock live performances of any band. And for a three piece, probably is the greatest performance by a three piece. It's just phenomenal what they do. And you know, the, the thing of it is they make it look so easy. I mean, it's just like old hat to them. They're goofing off and laughing and you know, us mere mortals here are just like, how are they doing all of that? Well, um, have a seat. Get your favorite drink. Let's watch Xanadu together again, but this time I'm gonna show you how they pull it off. Enjoy. The question that you tend to ask the most often is what if? I think if you had to simplify a motivation or simplify a moving force in our music, that would probably suffice.
pleasure don't decreed by a group 